27 years of experience in early childhood education, and I am a former, uh, I'm a former Head Start parent to a now successful 29-year-old, <laughs> and a really, really brilliant. <laughs> but my story is a perfect example of what re recent research confirms as Head Start's disruption of generational poverty. I, I want to say that again so it resonates. Head Start disrupts generational poverty. So I appear before you today with a strong personal understanding of the power of investing in people and increasing access to opportunities. Higher Horizons, or High Hole for short, as we affectionately call it has two locations and serves over 300 low-income, birth five-year-old children and pregnant women. We follow the federal poverty guidelines to determine which families are income eligible for our programs or are eligible because they are experiencing homelessness or are in the foster care system. High Hope provides comprehensive services to children and families through education and school readiness support maternal and child health support, nutritional support, mental health services, and connections to community resources. We have formed partnerships within the community to help link our families to additional services that are responsive to their needs. These services are uh, food pantries, shelters, diaper hubs, WIC services, et cetera. And so we are extremely cultural diverse um, we're an extremely cultural diverse organization with children and families and staff speaking over 17 languages. So at High Ho, we, we consider ourselves a true melting pot. Uh, our staff is dedicated to ensuring we provide the best services to the most marginalized children and families living in the Falls Church and Babies Crossroads communities. The testimonials from uh, from children and families who have come through and successfully transitioned out of our program are an attestation to the dedication and commitment of our staff. Children like Lisbeth. I have pictures, I don't know. So on, the, uh, on your left is Lisbeth and her uh, brother Jose, who, um, who decided on her graduation day from high school to come back and visit Higher Horizons and just again thank the staff for all of, all that they had done for her and her family. Um, again, that's her brother Jose who's still in high school. Elizabeth is finishing up her, her first year of uh, college at, and she attends Emory University. She was accepted also to the Ivy League College and she uh, currently attends Emory University as I said in her first year. So, and Kevin on the right, who, it, uh, who was born with Down syndrome. However, he is thriving and he also continues to visit and stay in touch with high home staff. And these are just a couple of the, the, the children and their families who have come through our program and come back because that's just how family oriented and how appreciative they are of the services that were provided. As you heard, as you've heard, good things are happening at high home. So, as you might imagine, the downside of that is that it troubles me that I'm not able to pay our dedicated teachers a true living wage, let alone a professional wage. As I enter the High Horizons buildings, it is like a gut punch knowing that many high school staff are essentially the working poor. Knowing that the same low income program they are charged with supporting, they could potentially qualify for. This is unsettling. If not for they, their commitment, they could very well go to the local Walmart grocery store or department store and make more money than they make at their professional job, a job which they had to go to college to qualify for. It just doesn't seem right. While we are extremely grateful for the support and the funds that we receive from Head Start, the current federal funding that, uh, from the Office of Head Start is simply not enough. 
Fairfax County, where High Ho is located, is one of the wealthiest counties in the nation. Yet, low-income families living there still, still struggle with access to affordable early education opportunities like the one offered at Higher Horizons. While many of our enrolled parents are working, so much of their income goes towards housing, food, and other necessities. Access to federal programs like Head Start is vital to the communities, I'm sorry, to the families in my communities. Additional federal funding will allow expansion of Head Start services and make the services we offer more accessible to families in Fairfax County. I urge you today as congressional staff to help your bosses increase federal funding to Head Start and Early Head Start. There is a saying that goes something like this. Who are we as human beings if we ignore the suffering of, of others? And I'm not sure the author. At High Horizons, we have made the commitment to serve. Will you commit to a bipartisan agreement to, uh, to prioritize, protect, and expand federal funding to the Head Start program. The Kevins, the Lisbons, and the Tishas of the future and their families are depending on you to use your decision-making powers to invest additional federal funds for Head Start to improve their chances of successful outcome. 